welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to look at how we can find the range of uh, the function f that has been given which is an exponential function and um, also to find the inverse of the same exponential function and to find the polynomial that is as a result of finding the composite function of f and and g of x all right so if you have uh, not yet subscribed to the channel, uh, click on the subscription button and um, also the notification button that is just right on the uh, that is just on the right uh, sides of the subscription button. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me on any of these lines on the screen. If you need lessons or tuitions and extra lessons in um, physics and mathematics, feel free to contact me on these same lines. Right, so let's quickly solve the question. So the first question that we have is um, this one, which is asking us to state the range of f. So f of x has been given to be um, uh, e to the power negative 3x minus 4. So the range of this function, the range of this function, the way it is found is a bit, um, okay, let me just say it's simple and uh, straightforward so i'll start first by stating what the domain is so the domain of this function is simply just from negative infinity uh to positive infinity in other ways it's just the set of all real numbers what that means is that you can replace any real number where there's x or any number from negative infinity to positive infinity where there's x and the solution will be defined yeah so this is the domain so the the range of this function when you sketch this curve you discover that the you're going to have the horizontal asymptote of um negative four so the horizontal asymptote of this function is going to be uh negative four so in case you know you don't know how to find this um, or how to sketch the graph of such a function you can simply just request for a video just uh, text me on whatsapp on any of these lines and then i'll get back to you tell me that you need the video where i was sketching the graphs of these uh, of such functions and then i'll send it to you so now the the horizontal asymptote of this uh, function f of x is y is equal to uh, negative four and, and what this means is that the curve no matter how um, no matter how no matter how long you can extend this curve it will never meet this uh, uh, line so what um, it means or how we get the domain is that um, you have to I think in the same um, in the same video I explained how you get the domains of these exponential functions so how you get the domain is that you just say uh, rather the, the range is that you just say uh, I mean, you just get uh, what you what you have there as the horizontal asymptote, which is uh, negative four, and then you say this is uh, uh, going up to positive infinity. So depending on the orientation of the curve that you are going to have, uh, for this one, it's uh, going towards the positive infinity. It's going towards the positive y. So that's why I've said um, the range is simply just from negative four to positive infinity. Or the other way you can. Uh, get this uh you simply just say um yeah you simply just um simply just say you just simply just get the horizontal asymptote and then just put uh positive infinity because normally the, these curves are like this yeah, so this curve when you sketch it it's uh it will be it will, it will look something like this just by looking at it so in case you don't have or you don't know how what I'm doing right now you can just request for the video I'll send it to you so uh, this is now going to be our asymptote which is negative 4 so what it means is that the domain we can put in any value of X and the answer that you're going to get to be defined and for the range whenever you put in the values of X as you go to the right as you go uh, towards the uh, positive x-axis or towards the positive infinity this line tends to get closer to the what is to get closer to the horizontal asymptote but it will never meet this uh, line that's what it means hence 
the minimum or the smallest value of um, the smallest value of the y uh, uh, rather the the smallest value of f of x when you put in the values of x will simply just be closer to negative 4 but it will not be exactly negative 4 hence uh, that's the reason why we're using this kind of brackets so if negative 4 was part of the solution we would have used the square brackets according to the rules of sets of um, interval sets yeah so this is exactly uh, what you're supposed to get as the range so you just get the smallest um, I mean you just get the horizontal asymptote there then you write it there make sure that you use this type of bracket you get the horizontal asymptote and then when, as you can see from the horizontal asymptote we're going towards the positive y axis and we continue going towards the positive axis y axis that's why we put positive y I mean positive infinity all right so thank you very much uh, oh, sorry. There are still some more questions that we are remaining with. I thought that this was the only question. So we move on to finding the inverse of f of x. So how do we find the inverse? So we have f of x is equal to e to the power negative three x minus four. To find the inverse, we are going to equate. Um, I'm going to say let uh, y be equal to f of x, meaning we are going to put y there. So say y be equal to e to the power negative 3x minus 4. So this will go to the other side of the equal sign. So that we get um, y minus uh, y plus 4 being equal to e to the power negative 3x. Then to make x the subject, we're going to introduce lean on both sides. So that we have uh, lean y plus 4 being equal to uh, lean uh, I mean, this negative 3 can drop down so that we have negative 3x there. According to the rules of log, so negative 3x will drop down so that we just have lean e there. So lean e is equal to 1. You know that the lean of e is equal to 1. This is the natural, uh, I mean, the natural logarithm of e is equal to 1. So we make x the subject, so we're going to have negative 3x being equal to the lean of y plus 4. So the value of x becomes uh, the lean of y plus 4 over uh, negative 3. Hence, f inverse of x is simply just uh, lean uh, y plus 4 over negative 3. So this is what you get as your inverse. Alright, so we move on to the next question. So this is the inverse. We move on to the last question there. So the last question is simply just, uh, uh, it's asking us to express f g of x as a polynomial. So in other words, it's just asking us to find the composite function of, uh, I mean, which is found by combining uh, f and g of x. So what this means, if we say f of g of x, so f of g of x is simply just um, uh, the same as saying in f, what is x, we're going to put g of x. So in f, so our f is e to the power negative 3. Um, uh, while this x, I'm going to put what? g of x. And uh, this is what I'm going to have. And then we say minus 4. So here while this g of x, we know that g of x has been given to be lean 1 over x plus 1. So I'm going to replace that there. So I have e to the power negative 3. Uh, lean, we have 1 over uh, 1 over x plus 2 when we say minus 4 so here is just the matter of um, simplifying the, just the matter of simplifying the expression there so we are going to have um, something like this so we'll have okay so what you do first is you take this negative 3 as a power there or if you want yeah, I think we just take negative 3. So I'm going to remain with E. Um, lean. 1 over x plus 2 to the power negative 3. And then we have minus 4 this side. So what we have here, um, I don't know if you are going to just take it the way I'm going to show it to you. But I may prove it. So this and that, this always cancels. Okay, let's take for instance, let me prove it here. You have y is equal to e to the power lean uh, 3. 
So we introduce lean on both sides, lean on both sides. I want us to, I want you to sh to see that um I want you to see that um this and this cancels. So now let me prove it to you. So when we introduce lean on both sides, this lean will drop down there. And hence we're going to have uh lean y uh, being equal to uh, lean 3 um, and then we have uh, lean E so lean E is going to be 1 so just remain with lean Y being equal to lean 3 and uh, if we bring this to the other side of the equal sign we have lean Y minus lean 3 being equal to 0 so when you are subtracting means that we are dividing so y over 3 being equal to 0. Convert this to exponential. We're going to have e to the power 0 being equal to y over 3. So e to the power 0 gives us what? Uh, 1. So we're going to have 1 is equal to y over 3. When we cross multiply, we're going to have 3 is equal to y, which is just the same as y is equal to 3. So you can see that if I have anything in the format y is equal to e to the power lean 3. It's just the same as saying y is equal to 3. You just cancel this and that and then you drop down the 3. You just say y, y is equal to what? What you have there. So same applies to this part. This and that will cancel. So once we cancel those two, we're just going to remain with... Uh, okay, let me show you. Okay, so once we cancel those two, we're going to remain with uh, fg of x being equal to, um, so this and that will cancel. So we just drop down this, we have 1 over um, one over x plus 2 to the power negative 3. Then we say minus 4. So from there, what we can do is uh, just, it's just a matter of simplifying. So how do we simplify this? So simplifying this, when we get rid of this negative, it means that whatever is in the brackets say I'll flip. So we're going to have x plus 2 in the brackets. So I'm saying this is equal to, let me write it properly. So saying fg of x is equal to, in the brackets there are the things will flip, so we're going to have x plus 2 and then to the power this negative has disappeared because of flipped what is inside so it's say to the power 3 minus 4 so if you want you can leave it here or if you want you can simplify it further by multi by expanding this and this would be x squared plus um, 4x plus 4 times x plus 2 minus 4 and then when you expand this further you're going to get um, you're going to you're going to get um, x to the power 3 and then plus 6x squared plus 12x and then plus 4 so this is what you are going to get after doing the expansion yeah so it's as simple as that okay so if you want us to do it together we can do it we just say x times x are getting x uh, cubed x times 4x we're getting 4x squared x times 4 we're getting 4x and we have 2 times um, 2 times x squared we are getting uh, 2x squared 2 times uh, 4x we're getting uh, positive uh, 8x then 2 times 4 we're getting what 8 so we're getting positive 8 let me just write it here positive 8 then we have a minus 4 there minus 4. So when you simplify this, you're going to get x to the power 3. 4x squared and um, 2x squared will add up to 6x squared. Then 4x and uh, 8x. Yeah, 4x and 8x will add up to 12x. Then we have uh, 8 minus 4 there, which gives us what? Positive 4. So this is the solution. All right. Thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. So if you don't have... Um, uh, a personal tutor or if you need someone to help you in mathematics and physics feel free to contact me 
uh, on any of these lines on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting. My name is Hamted. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.